20 sounds in English. There are 24 consonant sounds and 16 vowel sounds. We're going to do the consonants first. They had a little moment of anxiety there because mm -hmm. they thought there were five vowels. They thought they were A, E, I, O, U, and you just put 16 up there. But we're just going to race past that and say, no, no, no. We're going to do the consonants first. And consonants are easy. I can't tell you how many times I tell them. This is easy. You know this already. And they're like, really? Absolutely. So I was almost 40, I'm embarrassed to say, before I knew the difference between a consonant and a vowel. And it was Catherine Brillinger. Catherine Brillinger, who told me, and I was learning <coughs> pronunciation from her. So maybe you guys know. What's the difference between a consonant and a vowel? What makes a consonant a consonant? Yeah, consonant, good girl. Consonant sounds stop. Something stops. Stopped or restricted. But, but, t, but, something stops. And vowels. Yeah, vowels are elastic. Oh, I put my elastic in on. So I knew that A was a vowel and I knew that B was a consonant, but I didn't know why. But I do know. So vowels are elastic and they stretch. A. It's an unrestricted <laughs> sound, sure. So these are, these are vowels, and these are consonants. So now we have two languages of English going on. We have the writing that we know a tremendous amount, and we, and we have the speaking that we, don't, we really don't know anything about. And we need an alphabet for the speaking. We need to see what it's going to sound like. So I do this, and I say, what is it? And they have, they're supposed to say dog. <laughs> they're not supposed to say kangaroo. Dog. Sure. It's a dog. I say, what sound does it make? And they all, students all say a different sound. So dogs make different noises in every language. But the point is, <laughs> it doesn't make the sound dog. It makes a different sound than the thing that it is. So this notation here means make the sound. And in a whiteboard, I pick up a red marker and I do all the make the sound on this side of the board forever and ever and ever. This is my speaking side of the board. And any questions about speaking, I address them here and I grab my red marker and we do that here. And any, anything we're doing about writing, we, have to, we do it over here and we do it in a black marker. But it works the same with, with slash brackets. So what's this? It's a thing. It has a name. What is it? Go ahead. You can say it. What is it? B. It's a B. And it makes the sound. What sound does it make? B. It makes the sound you think that it's going to make. Excellent. So this is a B. It makes the sound. B. It's a little bit quiet. They're splitting their brain. You're actually physically splitting their brain into writing and speaking skills. They use a different part, and ultimately you're going to move that skill into their ears, because right now it's in their eyes. So, 24 consonants, there's 18 consonants that you know, and I always do it this way. Because it's the technique, if you will, of adding new information to information they already know. They already know the alphabet, so we're just going to keep going with that. already know. They make the sound you think that you're going to make. And the students, as fast as I can say this with you, they're already faster. They're already getting that this is a, what's this? You know, you do the whole thing. What's this? It's a B. What sound does it make? What's this? What sound does it make? Pretty soon you say, what's this? And they say, fuck. This is F, and this is F. Cool? Something just split there. You can see that it's split, and there, there's visual support. And you go through the whole thing. 
about half a dozen students in my life have said, they don't ask where that is because they know it's a vowel. They don't ask where that is. They don't ask, they don't, they don't, but they do say, what happened to C? What happened to Q? And what happened to X? They ask, they ask me that. So we don't need C, Q, and X in a phonetic alphabet because they're those, the sounds are represented by other letters. So C, A, C, O, C, U are usually, usually. And the babies, this is all I tell them. C, I, C, Y, what's left? C, E. C makes the sound so. So the point is made that other letters represent the sound. So for advanced students, I would go a little bit further. Uh, there's more. Ocean, muscle, cello was one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No, no, no. We, we, need, we need something. That's a sound that ch is a sound that C makes. I'm looking for other letters. Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is too much information for babies, but they have it. I don't need to see. That's what the lesson is. I don't need a Q because it's qua. They're so happy to hear this. They can finally say quiet and quit and quarter. If they can see ka, qua, then they can say it. Oh. Oh. And X is, you know, exam or ex exit. We don't need it. Or, or Xena or Xerox, it's a Z. We don't need it. So there's 18 consonants that they know. We're, ha we're ramping up to Transformation. We talked about transformation. It's come, that moment is coming right now. So the capital means two letters represent one sound. So here's the sound sh. Oh, sh making the, mouth sh, the, the sound sh. Imagine that. So it's sh like shoe, like sugar. Full, full stop. Here's transformation right here. Nation. Machine. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sugar. Sure. Those are SH sounds. Oh, look, at the, look at this friggin' T here. Nation. Oh. It's quiet as a mouse in the class. This is what that's what transformation looks like. So this is the moment that they get. I can't tell from looking what is sound. It doesn't matter how many times you've already told them that. It doesn't matter how many times they've stumbled when they read. This is the exact moment they go, hey, I don't know what sound it makes from the letter. That's a scary day. Machine. There's more sh sounds, but you know, I'm on the fly here. So that's a predictable moment of transformation. And, and we led up to it. So we had generous Judy, and you know, in the back of their mind, they knew this. They knew this, but this confirms it. So there's something validating here. And you're going to save them. You're not going to leave them out there. So there's church, and uh, as Jennifer was saying, cello. Oh, here's another good one. Party is completely over now. It's over. Picture, picture, and the T that just made an SH, now makes a CH. T is the worst sound, by the way. The, the worst consonant by far. And there's pages and pages in there and different exercises for T. And occasionally, even a teacher will say, T-I-O-N is always shun. I just love that. I'm like a, like a spider. You know, just wait, wait, just wait for them to say something stupid like that so I can smack them. Because the teachers are always trying to fit something into a model. Oh, this has no exceptions. This has no exceptions. This has no Every single thing you've ever learned has exceptions, except what you're learning today. This has no exceptions. And that's, it's a pattern. And we've never taught English that way. 
So T-I-O-N is always shun. I love that. Yeah. It's a J right here. Look at this one. This is, there's another J. You don't think of, of D's making a J sound. Soldier. Oh, yeah. Christian. Oh, yeah. So we're just getting just a tiny little taste of their world, of every second of what their world is like. Nothing makes sense. So let's just validate that and say, yeah, nothing makes sense. And we're going to fix it. And this is how we're going to fix it. So we're, we fix it by separating it into writing and speaking. So we got the big TA. And this is the, this is the big one. So think, thank, both teeth. Then you move that around. You started at the beginning. You move it to the end, to the north. And then you put it in the middle. If they're getting all cocky. Just a birthday. And then they're finished. So anyways. You can see that I have a tiny little mean streak. You did not know that, did you? I do. <laughs> mm, there's no word in English that begins with mm, but it's all over the place. Singing in Hong Kong. And there's uh, the last one is the dreaded je. Je. Genre is the only word in English that begins with je. And you can spell it a lot of different ways. Asia, uh, Asia pleasure, television. I'm looking for a new way. Azure, Taj Mahal is with the J. Azure is with the Z. Garage is with the G. There's the dreaded, the dreaded 